So hi there, I'm Howard from Recruit Me. Uh, welcome to uh, the latest edition of the Linkshire uh, Great News. Today I'm with a uh, relatively new business, um, HP Creative Solutions, um, with Hannah and Benny, yes. which is, I can see where the HP comes from, yeah. <laughs> which asks that question. So um, you've very much been through what I've been through as far as going from full-time employment to self-employment almost overnight. So, um, how are you finding it so far? I think it's definitely interesting. Yeah, it's, very, a, yeah, it's a humbling fun. journey, I think. It's, um, yeah, every day is different. I think I've come from quite a structured background, quite a corporate background, and what I'm doing now has been something that I was doing on the side for a number of years. Okay. So that's a big switch. And I, I know, Benny, you've been... Yeah, I've not come from a corporate background at all. So okay. I have, I've been self-employed for a while, so it was just sort of nice to... Get somebody to help me with. And your background, Benny, is photography and marketing. Yeah. Okay. So and yourself? Mainly social media marketing rather than. Okay. And yourself, you? Oh, I'm an ex-head of marketing, Fantastic. so I'm quite corporately structured and strategic in my approach to marketing for small businesses. I must admit, one of the things I found my background is corporate as well, so corporate HR. It's. Uh, it's been setting up your own business and doing self-employed. It is yet yeah, a huge wake-up call, but also it's it, sometimes you think all the things you bring from the corporate world are going to easily transferable to being self-employed. Oh, yeah, they're no. not. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. In, in a way, sometimes it's a, it, it is can be quite restrictive. We think, well, we used to do it this way. And actually, in reality, it, it is quite different. I mean, it does obviously help with on, from yeah. working with different types of clients, but it is yeah a very different. You think you have to think, learn how to do everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in yeah, the same amount of time. Yeah, whether that's cleaning the office to do, you know going shopping for tea bags to yeah. you know paying <laughs> pay, pay, pay for the yeah <laughs> clean the toilet yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely so so how, how did this how did HP Creative Solutions come about? Well, we actually met each other at a client. We both had a mutual client. Okay. Um, and she sort of employed us both for separate things. Um, so. When we sort of met, we realised that we almost had like gaps in our own in our own uh, businesses. Yeah. So to be able to collab, we could actually be able to deliver clients a full package in one place rather than having to outsource from different places. Okay. Yeah, so I think our skill set sits quite nicely snug together. Mm -hmm. um, what Benny was looking for support with and what I was looking for support with, it was kind of like, yeah, it just happened. Work, it? Yeah. And then overnight we sort of formed HB Creative Solutions. So it was, yeah, it was a bit of a disturb. How long have you been going for now? Is it two months? Is yeah. It two months, yeah. you say? Because I've read an article in, in, in our local um, local newspaper uh, in Grantham. It says your, 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 your plan is to empower small businesses. Yeah. Is that that, that see, kind of a headline through some of your marketing as well? How, how does that? What? Do, how do you, do so you find that? We think that like because we've worked with a number of small businesses together and separately over the years. Usually, somebody's gone into business because they're good at doing one thing and they're really good at it, and then they can offer that service or product externally and they, they go out and then they there's so many dif different elements to run in a small business and you have to know everything you've got your accounts you've got possible employees you've got various other things and then marketing and some people are really good at marketing themselves and they can go out there and they can do really well really quickly others not necessarily so much and they don't know the tools they don't know what's available to them some of our clients don't know how to use social media at all they find it quite intimidating don't they to to have to navigate yeah. all of that other stuff. So your service offering, what, what, what is your, your core service offering? Will you, if you're going to pitch your business to me today, for example. So our core business offering is, is digital marketing mainly, okay. but in a manner of all different elements. So we'll take it on a, like a personalised, tailored approach to look at your resources, your budgets, your time, and also your experience and knowledge. Some people we just create content for yeah. and we provide them the content and they go okay. out and do what they need to do with it. Some people we will train them because they haven't necessarily got the resources to or be able to... to... Learn, yeah. Some people want to learn how yeah, to do so it. So you do, you do training themselves. as well? Yeah. Right? Okay, so you will go into a company and, and train people. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So some people sort of just say, look, I don't want to do anything, here you go, you do it all. And yeah. then some people will be like, actually, I want to have more of a hands-on approach can you help me with these things? So then they can use that 
knowledge to do it themselves rather than have to employ us to do it full time. So you do both things. Yeah, yeah. I found in the past there was when you train or show someone how to do something, they great thing so much, and then off you go. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need you anymore. But that, that's that's kind of like you do that in tandem, so it's kind of complementary yeah. services. Yeah, but the well. thing is, I think digital marketing is always evolving. That there's always something new, and I think people will always you always think you might know, but then there's always something that's brought into it. That it's just like a, it's in its infancy, isn't it? Really. So it's it's you yeah. do constantly need to yeah. be on the ball with it. I know that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way people are navigating digitally as well is changing yeah. and evolving constantly. So how you might speak to your audience or how you might have spoken to your audience a few years ago yeah, it's very different looks now. a lot differently yeah. now. I think yeah. it's a, it, you have to engage with people a lot better. Attention spans are minimal. Well, attention, yeah. well. no, attention is important. I went to a conference last year and there's quite a senior marketing person talking. It was in Lincoln where, I think in my lifetime, a few years on you guys, is that you know, you've gone from where knowledge is power to data is power and now attention is power. Because mm-hmm. you're actually right, because people attention yeah. is short, so short, but you, everything you do is, is not, it's not so much about knowledge or gathering data that is important, but it's all about that attention. You've got yeah. such a short attention span people have that yeah attention is power if you can something I'll learn, I took away from that and maybe. I think that's where the visual stuff comes in because it obviously like yeah. it needs to catch their attention as, as quick as possible now yeah do you got into white resources do you, do you work from home or do you have your own studio or so both, both. we have okay. a studio um, that we work from we can do different types of shoots there and, and workshops and training. So you, you, you got, that's also your office and clients can come to the studio and do yeah. things yeah, yeah but okay. we'll also go out to clients yeah. as well so like um sort of like beauty industry obviously we'd have to go to them or like fashion they will we can go out to them can't we so yeah is there any particular sort of both. i know you've been based in grantham aren't you so any particular sort of type of company size sector you're looking at or are you fairly open at this stage i think we're fairly open-minded yeah, at this stage because yeah. because of our offering how we've positioned it we've got the the done for you products which suit more of an established small business yeah but then we've got the do-it-yourself services that maybe are more tailored to startups and less established mm-hmm. wanting to get out there wanting to get known out there as well yeah, I think so we, d- we want we want smaller businesses to know that they can obviously come to us and they'll get a, a tailored experience for them rather yeah. than a like a big marketing firm that will throw lots of jargon at them and i think we want we want to be able to reach them more comfortably, don't we? So yeah. they can. Yeah, we're quite casual in our yeah. approach. We yeah. don't really fill people with different types of acronyms, and we help them to understand and learn. And I think that's the a big thing with marketing that people forget. It's about education. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I think it's important. I think it's particularly you know targeting micro businesses, small businesses, and SMEs is. I think you have to be quite creative and adaptive on how you work because you know we. We work with companies for all sides of recruit me, or as obviously you work with the big corporates, you've got to follow a particular process where we're working with a, a micro business or SME. They might only use your services once a year or twice a year, but you've got to be quite creative and adaptive on, yeah, on your you offering. Adapt, yeah. You know, even in your fee structure because it doesn't work for everybody, so you've got to you've got to be more adaptive yeah. and creative in that respect because that, that works. And I think really that's well definitely for the advantage that we have. We are, are as people we are adaptive anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Very naturally yeah. adaptive, very naturally creative, yeah. both of us, Good. but in different ways. Yes, very, yeah. So Benny is very visual, visually creative and I'm more strategically creative and more yeah. outside the box thinking and an approach, I think. Yeah. So I think that's how, why we work well together. I think it's important, you know, if you start a business, I say my business is nine years old and my business partner, Chris and myself, you know, we've kind of, over the years, we've moved, you know, quite clearly what, what Chris does and whether that be... On, on the accounting side of things, on the HR side of things, and I'm sort of kind of heading up the sales function. It's you, it's very important that you have that quite clear definition oh, yeah. as soon as yeah, you can to the do, overlap. Because yeah. particularly there's only two of you at the beginning, yeah. your your time's so precious. Um, yeah. So that's really important as well. And uh, you talked about um, doing business in Grantham and in, in surrounding areas. Um, how are you finding the business culture, the business activity in Grantham at the moment? Have you sort of had a chance to have do much research or much exposure to that? So I think it's um, dependent on industries. I think some businesses are really thriving and yeah. doing really well. And I think some businesses have noticed that we've dealt with, um, have noticed maybe an, an impact of certain economical situations that are yeah. ongoing and they're struggling and they know that they need to find new ways to attract the business. Um, Get a bit creative. And that's where we can come in and be 
creative really <laughs> um but i think that like locally like a lot of businesses are doing really really well yeah yeah, it's, it's certainly um, it's, it's a lot of activity around here. I mean, with the, with the high street schemes going on, um, the investment as well. I mean, I've noticed this is where we are it, in the marketplace. You've got a new wine bar being yes, done up yes, next door. Hundred, so they've yeah. done a lot of work on that um, yeah. just across the square. Uh, it's opening very soon. There's going to be an artisan bakery. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the new restaurant. Um, I think it's um, Southgate or Westgate 1852. It's not opening sort of next year. It's going to be like a... Oh yes, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. That's the, the chap who's who's, who's um, opening it, he's got a mission star restaurant in Peter. So it's going to oh, wow. become a, it's going to become a destination point. You'll you know come to there. So I think there's obviously things going on in the high street as well. Yeah, locally there seems to be a bit of an upturn. Um, so yeah. I think I new think businesses. Grand Montan is thriving a lot a lot better than some towns. I think yeah. So what are the, what are the plans, immediate plans for this year and, and longer term? Have you all thought about that at all? So. Immediate plans is to get more established. Yeah. Our ultimate aim is to be like a go-to team that people think of when they want to grow their business through marketing and through digital marketing, mm -hmm. but in a authentic, fun. kind of fun, fun way, fun, creative yeah. way. Okay. Um, we bring a lot of fun mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. our content days, our shoots and even things like coaching sessions and stuff we like to, to yeah it's really informal and informal yeah. what, what does the content day look like then you mentioned that a couple of times so content days are for people or bus business owners that they know they need content and they know mm -hmm. they need to get content out there but they're working their day job or every day so trying to film content take photos deal mm -hmm. with their clients and their customers and do it all at the same time or well, nobody's got 10 hands so we okay. come in that's where we come in that's what i mean it's a full-time job isn't it really yeah and so, so there you can't necessarily video yourself while you're working and do it to the best standard because you don't really have time and obviously yeah you don't have 10 hands Why to, know be that, able to do all these different my colleague devin behind the behind the <laughs> camera our marketing person he's asking me to do a day in the life of Howard to, and it's really at the yeah. gym or at home well, yeah, or no, people love a day in the life yeah, yeah. but it is very hard to do <laughs> yeah, to find yeah. the time or, or actually actually do it yeah. so I do you have, have to, to get a necklace that. and put, it, put your phone dangling down yeah. so just <laughs> yeah. so it works really well for businesses because people like to relate to other businesses yeah. and I think people buy from people still regardless of how good you can be yeah um so it's actually we're just like behind, behind the scenes just recording pe recording different services recording them their business and we can give them edited content mm -hmm. and then we give them the raw footage as well so they've got a content bank to pull they from sort of use it whenever they want to okay that's interesting. and again for those who are quite savvy on social media they can then just do what they want with the content can't they like i said there's a broad, a broad range of yeah skills cool and do you do seo optimization as well yes you do yeah so we do that it depends on the business there's certain areas that we would probably steer clear of in terms of seo optimization but definitely trying to get a business that's offering a local service mm -hmm. or um offering a niche product into a into the digital <laughs> atmosphere <laughs> then then yeah I, I think we wouldn't look at taking on like global seo but um but it's a service you do offer for you yeah know. it is a service that we do offer um and I think it is important that we look at it because I think SEO is very, I think another, one thing that we get asked quite often is I want to be top of Google. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what does that look <coughs> like to you? Yeah. Okay. And they'll say something, I want to be top of Google and they're searching something and they don't necessarily understand how that works. Yeah. Um, so I think SEO is a big education point as well. Um, because you can give some really niche it. words and it's like, oh, well, I want to be top of Google. I can get you to top of Google really quickly on that because yeah. nobody's searching it. Yeah. You are the only person searching that <laughs> search term. <laughs> ever. So um, I'm, I've done some SEO audits recently for some uh, clients and their copy is ineligible, really, because it's just stuffed with keywords, keywords doesn't sense, <laughs> that yeah. doesn't make sense and the copy is not not great and actually when you look at seo you need to look at who you're speaking to your audience that's yeah. what's gonna get you ranked better 
it's your engagement on your site. If someone clicks on your site and doesn't do anything and disappears off 20 seconds later or not even that, without scrolling, without clicking, without exploring, you're not going to rank very well. It needs to be a whole journey, doesn't so it? So it's a whole journey, and okay. I think people forget if the, their, their goal is, I want to be top of Google. Well, actually, no, you want to have a site that's interacting with your audience and engaging, putting them down the fun funnel and they <laughs> into your sales funnel. Sales, yeah, at the end. Do you, um, do you have an elevator pitch? Have you practiced one at all, or do you have one? I, I just think we turn up and be ourselves. We don't necessarily yeah. have yeah. our uh, elevator pitch set. <laughs> one of the only things I learned is, um, obviously, when you go to networking events, I, I went to, I think in our second month, we went to a big event in London. It was just a recruitment related, and they had uh, uh, a couple of the original cast and Dragon's Den there. And we were just leaving, and I was literally waiting for my colleague just popped to, to the bathroom, and I, I stood by the elevator, and one of the Dragon Dens came over and said, which one? One of the, the early ones. He's like, tell me about your business then. And I'm like, completely blew up. So I've always, always said to people, practice your because you never know when someone might say, ask, you've yeah. got 20 seconds, literally, to, yeah. to pitch your business. So there's something I'd always, off the back of my mind, it was always, always very crazy. you just don't know where you're going to be, whether at work, outside of work, on holiday or somewhere, and someone says, what do you do? You've got to literally bam, bam, bam. So yeah. I, think, I think it's a really important thing to do. So as, as far as, you know, obviously you're promoting your own business, I, I was going to ask how you promote it, obviously you guys are the experts in digital media how you promote it, but are you, I mean, how, how do people, how are you making yourselves aware at the moment, and how do people get in contact with you? Um, so they can get in contact with us a number of different ways. Um, most of it comes through social media to be fair yeah. um people would like to message on social media yeah and then we'll then take that to the next level um through phone calls and uh, meeting in person some people will just ring us straight away okay. um they've seen us through various channels i think a lot of our clients are quite social media based aren't they and that's what they want help with so that's okay. and that's their area so they find us through that i think don't they they see yeah. ours and think oh yeah we want to we want a social media like that, and then they'll they'll yeah. come through that sort of channel, don't they? Yeah. You know, definitely. I mean, I, 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 our first client came from because it's interesting. Right? Well, I googled you this morning, and the first thing came up was the, the article in Bethlehem Journal, which is great. Um, actually, our very, our very first client nine years ago on our first day was a, was, a, was a business owner sat in Costa Coffee in Grantham reading the Grantham Journal because we'd put an article in there. Yeah. We were interviewed there two weeks before about you know two veterans starting a business in Grantham. He was sat there in Costa read it. We literally half an hour into opening, we got a phone call. Yeah. Can we come and see you? And it's like blind panic. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, we had, we had you know, so I think, from the yeah, yeah, we've had yeah, quite a few. Yeah, sometimes it's successful, it's great, but again, the traditional way of doing it, I know hard copies of journal are less, you know, yeah. so, mm. but even so, it, it, I think, you know, engaging with local media, uh, local personalities, local people, I mean, there's quite a few influences in town. I've been aware of the last couple of years, it does really. So yeah. you know, word of mouth, you can't beat that, you know, it to be honest. Oh yeah, word some of trust mouth. and yeah. credibility, yeah. I think, definitely. I mean, we have, we had a bank of clients each anyway, because we okay. were both before HB. Yeah, I yeah. think mine was probably mostly word of mouth. People yeah, just mine was as well. Most of them, yeah, but ours was, I think, in the first year, m most of our clients were, apart from that chap, were um, friends and family. So I always say to people that come to work with us is like, you know, you know, obviously engage your friends and family first because you know they're, they're, they're the natural things to talk to about your business and engage with that. So that yeah. that's definitely. Yeah. We do have a really good circle of friends, don't we? Yeah, yeah. they're all. Yeah, yeah. They're all. They're we all, all, they're all <laughs> <in> the <laughs> done everything. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about it the other night. They're all. We've got a friend that does. We've got friends that have done bits of everything, yeah. and yeah. we've got friends that do different things. All of them so and always come to us for advice don't yeah. <laughs> and all hours of the day <laughs> and my colleague David keeps reminding me as well Google reviews and is it Trustpilot we use now as well yeah. yeah so it keeps me yeah so that's that's great rankings well listen it's really good to to meet you I know you had your launch party was that last week yes it and was and I apologise I wasn't able to come no, and, I, and um, so but how was it anyway Did it yeah it was yeah, really, really good, good. Yeah, yeah it was really good it was nice um, we kept it quite casual we didn't want to do like a Formal networking event, we find that yeah. can be quite daunting for some people. Yeah. Um, I did see the video, so it looked, it looked quite cool. Yeah, so. we just kept it quite yeah. fun and quite casual because that's who we are. Yeah. yeah, we still do. We've just had our ninth anniversary, and we still have a cake and we have a little balloons and things, don't we? So we, I'm oh, yeah, over there now. So okay. we'll, yeah, we have lots. Yeah, of we, we still <laughs> celebrate it, and I think we should just keep doing that. Be yeah. good. Well, listen, I wish you both great success. Thank you. Um, also, we'll, we'll we'll share the video. We'll put up all your social media links as well and everything as well. We'll, 
we'll keep okay. sharing and posting that. And uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Business. It's good to see another new business in Grantham. Thank, Thank you. you very much.